Hi everyone, this is Christine. I just want to quickly show you how I use Rad Lab from right from within Lightroom to edit my photos. Rad Lab is a set of filters from Totally Rad that um, are very simple to use and I use it on a lot of my photos that I process. I use Lightroom to import, to process, to um, tag all my photos and I also create collections for, of photos in Lightroom for different purposes such as photos for scrapbooking, photos for project life, photos for blogging, and photos for projects such as a mini album. And um, Lightroom is so great for doing all of these things for me that I never want to leave Lightroom. So when Red Lab um, made it work from within Lightroom, I couldn't be happier. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I right click on the photo that I want to edit in Red Lab, and then I go to Edit in Red Lab. And I always edit a copy instead of the original photo. The win a window will pop up, and these are the Rad Lab filters. There's stylets on the left, which are, are the filters that come with Rad Lab, and then there's recipes, which are um, combinations of filters that people have made, and uh, you can actually download those those off the internet and we'll just talk about a little bit later. So um, the different filters available in Rad Lab, there's basic adjustments and then there's optical and lens effects. So there are filters that like these faded filters that um, have give the photo a faded look that's so popular on blogs right now. And then there's modern color, vintage color. These are some of my favorite uh, filters in Red Lab, the vintage color ones. I think they're all really great. And then there's black and white and sharpening. And as you can already see, before I even apply the filter to my photo, you can already see a preview on the right side of what each filter will make your photo look like. And if you want to see it over here in the after part of the screen, you can just hover over each of these filters and you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to apply the O snap and then I like this flare up faded look, so I'm going to apply that. But I don't want it to be so faded, so I'm going to adjust the strength on the right side. And that's one of the really, really nice things about Rad Lab is all these filters are com completely adjustable. All you need to do is uh, um, slide the sliders back and forth to and look at the um, after photo on the left to see uh, until you it's to your liking. So I'm going to fade I'm going to adjust the strength of the faded photo to 68%. And then I'm going to use one of the vintage um, filters that I really really like which is pull party. I just like how it's a little bit greenish and faded and I just really like the look of it. So now I've got a combination of these three filters that I've used and I'm thinking, well, I really like this. How do I use it again next time and not forget what combination of photos that I, um, or filters that I used? So you can save your recipe. All you need to do is click on save and then click on Give the recipe a name. I'm naming it Faded Full Snap. And you click OK. And then you click on Recipes on top. And it will be out in alphabetical order. And you'll be able to see here's my filter, Faded Pull Snap. 
So next time I want to use the same exact recipe of these three filters. Um, I just need to click on this recipe under the recipe tab. And one other thing is I have all these recipes and it's because you can actually download them from the internet. Um, people make different combinations of filters and they make recipes and you can download them and import them into your Red Lab, which is completely cool. Um, I found a lot of these at the gettotallyrad.com website where people share them. So um, now I want to, I like the look of my photo and I want to go back to Lightroom, so I click finish and Red Lab applies the recipe and saves a copy of it right here in Lightroom. So here's my original photo and then here's my one that I edited in Red Lab. It doesn't write over your original photo. Um, it saves a copy also to your hard drive and it makes a, a thumbnail of it in your catalog so you can see both your original and your edited photo. And that's probably as easy as it can get um, as far as photo editing goes. And I just love the results. Hope you enjoyed.